Hello and welcome to Dotto Tech. Now, if we've timed things right, you should be brimming with festive spirit by now. If not, stay with us for half an hour and we will have your Yule log burning bright. With Christmas right around the corner, I want to take some time to take a look at the gifts that are sure to make you the most popular parent in the house. And I am, of course, talking about iPods. Now, we've got a complete lineup here. Yes, we have an iPod for every day of the week. If there was four days in the week. But I want to walk you through the choices that you have and how they can all fit into our lives. Now, of course, your kids are going to tell you the exact model, the exact color of iPod that they want. So you aren't going to have anything to worry about from that perspective. But if you're buying an iPod for yourself, you might need a little bit of an overview. So today, it's all about iPods for you and for I. So let's take a look at Apple's current lineup. Now it all starts with the smallest of the iPods, the iPod Shuffle, which really is music that you wear. It is tiny. It stores one gigabyte of music, which is a lot of songs, 240 songs, but it's got no screen. It's really designed as a workout uh, and an active uh, addition to your life. So basically it just clips on wherever you happen to want to store it. Your headphones connect into it and then you've got about 12 hours of charge of battery life as, so that you can go about doing your stuff. With 240 songs you've got lots of music for doing workouts, that kind of stuff. And if you don't like a song or you want to move around, you have the navigation to go forwards and backs in your songs using a little click there. Now the headphone jack is very important in the iPod Shuffle because it does dual duty. Of course your headphones plug into it, but it's also what we use to connect it to the charging and sync cable to give it a new battery charge, to hook it up to our computer, and to download all of our songs into it. They cost under $100. It's really all about functionality, portability. It's the sort of thing that you're going to take jogging, working out at the gym, going for a bike ride. Now the new Nano is a whole different story. The new Nano now has a very nice video screen, actually 320 by 240 pixel display. And it's actually 65% brighter than previous displays. And it'll play back about five hours of video and about 25 hours of audio on a single charge. If you take a look, the screen is absolutely beautiful. Now the eight gigabyte version that I've got here will store about 3,500 songs or 7,000 photographs and it'll also store about eight hours of video on it. And if you don't think that you might want to watch a video on or a TV show on a screen this size, well I gotta tell you, I think you'll enjoy it. There's our show there running for you. It's spectacular quality and so if you download any video or any movies or any TV shows onto it you'd be surprised at how much you enjoy playing back uh, a show on a personal player like this. And moving along onto the next, this is a new form factor. This is the iPod Touch and it is beautiful. It's got a huge three and a half inch display that's ideal for viewing videos, for using for music. And you can even browse the internet with it because it has Wi-Fi built in and so you can actually browse the net on it and download songs and music and video directly to it. Now the battery will last for about 22 hours in playback mode for audio and about five hours in playback mode for video. It's a whole new interface, a whole new metaphor and we're going to spend quite a bit of time a little bit later in the show as I walk you through exactly how the iPod Touch works. Now all three of these first iPods that we looked at are solid state. In other words, there's no real moving parts in any of them. The type of memory, the type of storage that they have is the same type of storage as you have in memory keys or in the flash memory that you use in your digital cameras. So it's perfect for the active lifestyle. With no moving parts, there's nothing to skip, nothing to break, but we're limited as far as the amount of size. The iPod Touch is 16 gigabytes and 8 gigabytes in its size. We, in the Nano we have 4 and 8 gigabytes and of course the Shuffle is 1 gigabyte. So so they'll hold a lot of stuff, but they won't hold your entire collection. If you want to hold your entire collection, well then you have to consider the iPod Classic. It will hold everything and a lot more. This particular version, 160 gigabytes. What does 160 gigabytes translate into? We'll try 40,000 songs on or 200 hours of video. Now the Classic uses a hard drive. That's how we get 160 gigabytes in this smaller package. Now that gives us some disadvantages if we're going for a jog for example. It's not the best for an active lifestyle. You want a solid state iPod for that sort of stuff. But with 160 gigabytes we can store a lot more than just our music and our video. We can hook it up to our computer and go into drive mode and we can actually use it as a back 
backup or storage device carrying around important files, backing up files, that sort of stuff. Plus, with the larger form factor, we can have up to 40 hours of audio playback before it needs a recharge, so it's ideal for traveling on the road. Mine goes with me everywhere I go, and when I fly between Vancouver and Toronto, it's always the iPod Classic that's helping entertain me on the flight back and forth. So the question is, which iPod is right for you? And it is a tough call. Personally, I think we all need at least two. So perhaps a better question is, which combination of iPods is right for you? Want more information on the products we've covered on today's show? Then check out our new website. We've got podcasts, streaming video, and a searchable database going all the way back to our first season. Check it out at dottotech.com. <laughs>